Another common condition that we see and treat at uh, Legacy uh, Spine and Neurological Specialist is what's called uh, vertebral compression fractures. And the most common site for these fractures is in the lower back or the lumbar spine and, and in the mid back or the thoracic spine. And these fractures are typically seen in osteoporotic individuals, uh, so usually it's in the older population, and they take a trivial fall or sneeze, bend over, feel a pop, and an acute severe pain strikes them. The degree of compression can be anywhere from just a minimal amount of compression of the vertebra or the, the vertebral bodies to a m massive amount. So it can be 5, 10% up to 99%. So these fractures can be very painful or minimally painful. And the only ones we're going to get involved with really in treatment are those that have persistent pain despite conservative care. We can try anti-inflammatories, we can try back bracing, sometimes even an epidural steroid injection. But if the pain is severe and refractory to these mild conservative measures, we have a, a wonderful treatment option that is almost an instantaneous, if, if you, usually is an instantaneous resolution of the pain. And that is some form of vertebro or kyphoplasty. And basically that means a cementing uh, of the fracture to stabilize it internally. Uh, it's through a tiny incision, so it's a minimally invasive procedure. And here we blow up a balloon and then inject cement into the cavity uh, of that balloon. And on the diagram we see, on the left here, we see a needle going in through the pedicle. This again is a patient lying on their stomach. This is an outpatient procedure. Typically takes about an hour or less to do under the x-ray machine, often either awakened, and sedated or put to sleep for a short period of time. The needles pass through the bone under fluoroscopic guidance where some form of device, in this case a balloon, is then inflated and then the cavity that is created is filled with this polymer or cement. The needles then removed and in the vast majority of patients, instantaneous pain relief is achieved.